Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. Um, if you're a follower of my channel, you'll notice I did a uh, kit swap tutorial and it was only a partial one and it should be popping up in the uh, window at the top up here. And a lot of you asked for full kit tutorials. So I hear you and today that's what this tutorial is about. Um, simply going to be Mbappe to uh, Liverpool and again, I'll talk about it in a second, but I'm quite fortunate in the fact that uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold did the Mbappe celebration not too uh, not too long ago uh, against Leicester. So with that, uh, I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to explain everything as I go on. So create a new document, press Command N, okay? And uh, I'm just using a square uh, just for Instagram. So Command N for a new document or Control N if you're working on a Windows. So any point today I talk about any shortcuts, it's because I'm working on a Mac. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in my image of Trent Alexander-Arnold. And there he is. He's just scored the fourth goal for Liverpool uh, in what was potentially a title title battle. So anyway, I digress. So if you notice, what I've done is I've picked Trent Alexander-Arnold, not just because he's uh, he did the celebration, which is an additional bonus, which adds to it, but also uh, his skin tone is similar to uh, to Kylian Mbappe. So that's why I've uh, I've chosen that one. And next one, I'm going to drop in Killian. So this was when he was uh, playing for France. Now you can see, obviously, the skin tones are a little bit different. Obviously, uh, the light plays a factor as well. This was a night game. This is in the day. But what we're going to do is we're going to play a gradient map later on. And uh, Killian's face should map his uh, hands. Now, rather than just trying to change your kit over and getting all bogged down in it, some of the simple things you can do when you want to do a kit, kit swap is just swap the head or the body parts and just try and merge them and make them fit to how you uh, would like to do it. So rather than uh, getting all fancy and getting a French shirt and then trying to paint and copy and paste and I don't know, all sorts of different Photoshop techniques. Okay, that's the beauty of Photoshop. You can do loads with this software and the program and there's different ways around doing different things. So all I've done today is just uh, take Killian's head, Mbappe's head, and put it on Trent here. So first thing I'm going to do is I've got my uh, photo of Mbappe. I'm going to press Command T or Control T. Okay, I'm going to right click or double click, and I'm going to flip it horizontal. So I'm just flipping him over. And again, it works quite well for Mbappe because he's got a very symmetrical face. So looking at first glance, you wouldn't think that this image had been uh, swapped over. Uh, so Control T. I'll just flip that then. Flip horizontal. I didn't press enter, that's why. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. So I'm going to hold shift and alt, and it's going to grow. I want it quite large for this, just for this part, so I can uh, get a nice clean cut. These images I'll link below. Okay, and all I'm going to do is cut out his head. So I'm going to hit P for the pen tool, and I'm going to cut around him. Okay, if you're not too familiar with the pen tool, there's loads of good tutorials um, on YouTube or just Google search. YouTube's the best bet. I have a few looks at the pen tool, but it's a simple tool to use. I'll uh, I'll cut his head out now, and I'll quickly get back to you. I've cut out Killian. I've, I've had path selected on my pen tool. I'm going to hit selection, feather radius, zero pixels, anti alize new selection, hit OK, and I'll get the marching ants. Next, I'm going to press Command J or Control J, and it'll create a new layer. So this image now uh, that I've just hidden, of Mbappe. Okay, we can just go and delete that. And then we've got his floating head. So, nope, press V. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop the opacity down. Okay, I'm going to press Command T and I'm just going to resize him. Now, obviously, because we're taking it from a different image, it's going to be uh, looking a little bit different, but you just have to try and make it fit. We're going to go with something like that for the uh, for the time being. Maybe a little bit too big, so I may just size it down a little bit. Okay, and for the time being, he's okay there. So I'm just going to hide him for a second. So I'm just going to call that head. Okay, what I'm going to do now is this image of Trent. I'm just going to cut out his body. Okay, just to make things a little bit easy, make my workflow a lot a little bit easy. So what I'm going to do now, hit the pen tool again. I'm going to cut him out. And I'll get back to you. I 
Okay, so same again. I'm going to make a selection. Hit OK. Got my marching ants. Okay, I'm going to press Command J. And then I've got another layer. And then I can bring in there my head. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop it down underneath. Now, you might be wondering why I didn't uh, cut out Trent's head. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this layer here, the background image layer. I'm going to hit the uh, stamp visible tool, the spot healing brush tool, the J. Okay, make sure you've got the layer rasterized so when I click it now, it's going to give me a warning. I'm going to rasterize that layer. Just at the top here, just make sure it's uh, content aware. So what it's going to do is as we select it, okay, the pixels around it, okay, are going to be, uh, it's going to blend it in. So I'm just going to paint around, see if this works. It takes a little bit of playing around and straight away, uh, to, to glance at it, that looks pretty good to me. Um, come off there, because we've got the lights and stuff. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll try just a bit there. Yeah, so at a glance, okay, that looks uh, that looks fine. And again, looking at his head, the way it's being positioned. Okay, press Command T. Sorry, wrong. Make sure you've got the head layer selected. Press Command T. And again, I'm I'm kind of happy with the proportion. Okay, there's a small little bit of trend there. Okay, but again, it's uh, it's nothing massive. What we can do is we can just shade that area, and it it looks a little bit of white from the collar there anyway. So it's nothing to worry too much about. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, with how he's looking there. So uh, that saved. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's saved quite a lot of time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, try and match uh, Mbappe's head to Trent's skin tone. So I on my eyedropper tool, okay, and I'm just going to select. I'm going to click on my little palette over here with one of the lighter parts of uh, Mbappe's skin colour. We've got this number here, okay, and it's just formed there. I'm going to create a gradient map now. So I'm going to go to gradient map on my adjustment tools. I'm going to create a clipping mask, so this means this layer only affects the layer directly below it. So I'm going to hold Alt so this little symbol appears, or you can just right click and just uh, create clipping mask. Okay, so my properties, uh, it's already done it there, and let me just try. We can sample from the dark patch there as well. In fact, no, we can't. Okay, in fact, go to my eyedropper tool. In fact, it would help if I was on the correct layer. Something like that, yeah. So, go back to that layer. I'm going to copy that, Command C, click Cancel, go to my gradient layer. Command V. And they're the wrong way around. I've done the uh, wrong way around, so I'm just going to swap them over. <laughs> Something along those lines. So then you've got a gradient. Okay, so what we've done there is we've took the uh, darker tone of a uh, trench skin and the lighter tone. We've applied them to our gradient map. So uh, we've gone there. And we're going to change the blend mode to soft light. Soft light or overlay. Let's try. Let's have a look, see what I did here. I did overlay. Okay, so we've gone to overlay, but it doesn't look very good, does it? What we're going to do is we're going to drop that opacity down to around 20%. And then you can see the small difference we've made there. We've just changed the skin tone just ever so slightly, just so it's not quite as bright or as light, and it's matched Trent's skin. So you might not be using a, a black player. Uh, you might be using, I don't know, Kevin De Bruyne and someone else who's pale white. Okay, okay. Um, you can kind of apply the same thing. Um, it does work. I think it works better for black players. I'm not sure. But it's just a way of uh, color grading and, and matching using a gradient map. Um, so, yeah, that looks fantastic. What we can also do is um, add some shade. So what we're going to do is you can apply it to both the body and the head. So just create a clipping mask again. Hit D on the black there. So you've got black, hit your brush tool, okay, opacity 100%, I've got flow at 1%, okay, and just to um, 
just to add and you can just go all over the body and just enhance the shade and if you're familiar with my tutorials uh, you know that I do like to uh, do this sort of thing uh, it really does enhance it but for the purposes of this tutorial I'm not going to go too much into it so it's just something to think about and all we're simply doing here is just helping the image blend in so again Mbappe's head a new layer create a clipping mask so it only affects it okay and you can just paint some shadows in just a little bit maybe underneath there under the collar a little bit too strong just once yeah there we go not too much so and again go back and uh, just do all the different shading and stuff so again what I would recommend is just taking your time and applying a lot of the shading and if you notice I did it in this image just here that was the number seven uh, so you can see where I've just done a bit of the shading so like we've uh, previously discussed okay with a uh, swaps and change but it's all about the fine details as well and if you notice here we've got Trent's uh, number so what I'm going to do for this layer I'm going to make sure I've got this layer selected so I've got this like there's a body here that we've cut out and copied we're going to go back to our spot healing brush okay we're going to zoom in okay I'm just going to make it just the size of the numbers okay and I'm just going to paint round and it's, make sure it's content aware again at the top and there we go you may need to just do a little bit of blending in there okay just play around with it use some different strokes oh again just be careful and flatten it out a little bit it for the purpose of this tutorial it is looking a little bit naff it's not looking the best um, but what I'm going to do now is okay I'm going to get my image of James Milner so what I did is I just picked another football player from the same uh, from the same squad. Obviously, it's last season's kit, but the numbers still going to be roughly the same. And hit my pen tool, okay, and I just roughly copied round. Just offset it. Selection, OK, Command-J, and then you can get rid of James Milner just there. Command-0, facts go to V, View Move Tool. OK, and we're going to position our number 7, I'm going to press Command-T, and I'm just going to orientate it around a little bit. And what we can do here is just get rid of that layer, and then we've still got our original layers, and we can just get a rough idea the size of the numbers so that should do bring our new number back in and something around there should be fine okay gonna go uh, add a layer mask now so we're just going to delete the pic well not delete them but just hide the pixels around them so hit the layer mask at the bottom and we'll have a uh, little box here hit D make sure you've got black selected over here if you haven't just press D and then it'll pop forward like this and then press X and it brings you black uh, to the fore okay and I'm just going to bump it up a little bit and I'm just going to paint around so give me one second and I'm just going to paint away this okay so I've, uh, I've painted around there but again if you notice the new balance is a little bit blurry the image is not the sharpest either okay it's better to work in better pixels so what I can do is Uh, relayed it in wrong just let me just sort that out so this number seven is now our top layer okay what I can do is just convert it to a smart object so that means we can edit it okay I'm going to go to filter I'm going to go to blur I'm just going to give it a Gaussian blur and I'm just going to give it one okay one pixels of blur maybe two no one should be fine hit okay so when I zoom out the blur is very similar to the blur there. Now sometimes on the previous one 
you may get um, some more pixels pop up. So what you can do is just uh, create another layer mask, okay, and you can just paint them away as again as well. But that's looking um, quite all right. So press Command C, uh, Command Zero. There you go, and we've zoomed out, and there is Kylian Mbappe, and he's pretty much done. What I did is as well. So as you can see here. I uh, added just a, some small effects. So what this does is, I'm going to press Command Shift Alt and E or Control Shift Alt and E, and you'll get a, a stamp visible layer. I'm going to convert it to a smart object again. So this means we can edit it. I'm going to go to Filter now on CC. I think maybe CS6 you can get it. I'm not sure. Camera Raw Filter. It's a brilliant tool. And uh, these are just the adjustments I made. So I'm going to. Click on this one so before and after so I can see as we work along. So what I did is for this image, I dropped this to minus six and plus three. Okay, change the exposure to minus 0.45. Okay, all I did is just uh, play around with the sliders. Contrast plus 16 till I saw something that I was happy about. Highlights minus 20. And again, all we're doing is just editing this picture and just helping it blend in a little bit more. Shadows plus 45. Whites minus 8. Blacks minus 40. Clarity plus 12. <coughs> Vibrance minus 25. Saturation minus 6, I think. Go minus, minus 8. Okay, then what I did is I uh, went to my grayscale saturation. Okay, and I just pumped up the reds a little bit. Uh, pumped them up to plus 15. Just making the red Liverpool shirt stand out. So whatever club you use. Okay, just uh, select the uh, colour and the yellows as well for these logos, New Balance and whatnot. Uh, just gave them a plus five. And then with a the split tone in, just went to the shadows. Two, two, three, three, two, three, four. Okay, and just add a little bit of blue hue. Click OK. And there we go. There's our uh, kit swap tutorial. Um, hope that was uh, of use to you all. Um, Again, like I said, Photoshop, you can do uh, lots of different stuff. And in fact, one else thing I forgot to mention is, if, uh, just rasterize that layer by accident, but if you also go to filter, noise, add some noise, and just give it 2% or something that you, that you like, give it some uh, grain as well to help blend in. But um, yeah, hope you found that interesting. Um, and it helped you a lot. I can possibly do another tutorial as well, changing kit colours as well, how to change logos over and whatnot, I think will be uh, quite useful. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the uh, full kit swap tutorial. Different ways of doing stuff, this is just one of the many ways. So uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram, TB Photoshop Tutorials. Okay, you'll find the link in the description below. And if you do make something uh, similar with a different player, yeah, just... Uh, just tag me and uh, let me know. I do like to see people's work. A few people have sent some stuff, which is good. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.